Good morning everyone from SeaWorld San Diego, a SeaWorld park that I've only been to a couple times. Sarah and Tyler, you guys have no. never been here before. No. I thought it was pronounced San Diego. Which translates to, we can't say that on I camera, that. No, but Anchorman's a great movie. Anyways, this is the start of a week-long California trip. We're starting here at SeaWorld San Diego. We're going up to Magic Mountain, Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm. It's going to be an awesome time. Uh, what are you guys most excited for with SeaWorld? I would say, I don't know, there's a lot of, uh, I guess, kind of similar rides to what I've done. Like Manta's kind of similar to Cheetah Hunt, I guess. Emperor, I've done a bunch of dive coasters, but I'm just excited to go to another SeaWorld park. I've heard this one's yeah. very different from Orlando. Yes. So I'm very curious to see how different it actually is. No, that's great. What about you, Sarah? That was like exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> that's You're fair. Welcome. I feel cheated. I did your job for <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I you think this is a here. beautiful park. And so uh, it's just going to be great to be back here. So let's go on inside. More so than any other SeaWorld park, SeaWorld San Diego actually feels like you're underwater when you walk in. This is the scariest thing ever. Watch this. Watch, watch. Ready? Whoa. He's on you. Oh my gosh. There's so many on me. Oh my gosh. What? So right near the entrance is the Sesame Street uh, play area. And they have a big ad for Sesame Place San Diego. This was the old water park that they converted into a Sesame Place park. And there is a roller coaster here. We actually thought about going today, but they are not open today. They're only open on weekends, and today is a Tuesday. There you can see Super Grover's Boxcar Derby and a bunch of other water slides. So, I don't know, we'll probably go here one day, I'm sure, but that will not be on this trip. Oh my God, these ride vehicles are amazing. Oh my God, everyone that goes around is better than the last. This is the only attraction that grown-ups are allowed in in the entire Sesame Street. Oh, yep, here we section. go, here we go. We're on the phone with Taylor because he ditched us. What are you guys doing up there? Sup? Uh, okay, sure, I guess I'll join. Holy crap, this is intense. Uh, uh. If you can do this one-handed, I'm gonna be really impressed. Uh. I did it one-handed. Can we all flap our wings like Big Bird? Sarah is very invested in this. And right it's you, and what's he doing? He's eating cookies, oh look, can we all eat? First ride of the day, it's Manta. Not to be confused with Manta at SeaWorld Orlando, which we rode like two days ago. Of course, before we ride, everything's gotta go in a locker. Unfortunately, they do not have a movable locker option, so you have to pay for each one. And they are these smaller lockers, and they charge more for them. They're each $3. So yeah, we're gonna rack up some, some money today because uh, we're gonna need one every single ride that we go to. All right, let's go. We're in the back car of Manta. These guys, first ever time on it. Let's do this thing. Not bad, right? No, I like that. That was that was a little more intense than I was expecting, actually. It's like Slinky Dog, and then you go. <laughs> yeah, it just. Crazy. It's Slinky Dog, but whippier. Yeah. I think it pulls more forces than it too. Yeah, whippy Dog dash. That launch was a little more powerful than I thought it would be. Because I know mock launches, you know, they're not like the strongest out there. Yeah. I, I did like a little bit my head. more. But yeah, I like actually went bump. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it. Were we going back and forth? Yes. yes. What was that? It's like a, you're like a manta. You're like gearing up for launch. Do mantas do that? Do I don't they go know. Go back and forth to gear up for launch because I've never seen. Do I look manta like a marine biologist? Yes. One cool thing about manta is that it just like sprawls throughout this entire like back section of the park. It's really scenic. Oh yeah. I liked the ride. I did too. You should get a shot of that pumpkin really fast. <gasps> oh, it's a fishkin. I don't understand. The only thing, the only problem I have with this: why does it have to break before the second launch? Why? Uh, I don't know. Time reminded, Traveler does that too. That's yeah, what reminded me of Slinky Dog Dash because you stop. But that one is for like theming purpose, I thought. Like, yeah. But this one I don't need. I don't know. But it's a fun ride. It is fun. I liked it better the second time around because we did it a second time and I, I got like some airtime moments. Yes, there's some airtime moments. This thing pulls some good forces, it has some good whip, and uh, it's, it's what? I'm what, so what? ready for this. Oh, yo, Tidal Twister. This one didn't even exist last time I was here. And I think it's open, so that's a rarity. This thing's always closed. We have a five minute wait. 
Uh, they're only running one side, so there you can see the other side How does that even work? sitting. Uh, I don't know, but look, it's like slanted because of the way it's set up. I was told that we should sit in the back for this ride. And the reason is? You get a little bit of airtime over the airtime really? hill. Yeah, believe it or not. What the heck? Wow. So we just did Tidal Twister and it took me about five seconds into the ride to realize that I didn't want to ride it again. So the two boys are over there going to go take yeah. their second ride and I'm going to so hang out here at the petting <laughs> zoo and make friends with some sea no, creatures. Last time I held a starfish, it peed in my hand. Fun fact. In the amount of time that's taken for them to wait in line for a second ride on that thing, I've gotten to enjoy the entire park. I've had five rides on Emperor. I got back on Manta. I adopted a penguin. Um, I went all the way to SeaWorld Orlando and back, and I think I'm having a pretty good day. I think I'll head to Magic Mountain now. What's up, dude? Hi! Hello! Alright, I don't want to get my hopes up, but I think, I think they're on the ride right now. Hey, I'm looking for new people to vlog with. My friends have been on there for forever, so say hi. 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 Awesome, thank you. My goodness. I'm like 90% sure that this is the next day at this point. That took too long. The ride cycle's too long. The line's too long. But you loved it, right? I hated it. <laughs> no for me, dog. Not a good ride. Skyline, you're great people. Like, I, I've loved chatting and interacting with all of you. You're genuine, awesome people. But I don't like this ride. Okay. I, I didn't like it. All right, we just did lap number three on Manta there. Sarah and I sat up towards the front. I said my favorite part of the ride is in the second half, there's this one twist where it like really flings you, and uh, it was pretty fun. How do you describe it? I said it, it reminded me of like a family version of Terran, because there's no like distinguishable elements, really. Yeah, it's I was just gonna a lot say of that. Eating. I was going to say that on the reaction that we did, but I didn't want you guys to think Yeah, that as someone who's it, ridden Terran yeah. a lot, he yeah, really yeah. can. What do you get at SeaWorld San Diego? A wave breaker, the rescue coaster pin. Why is that here? That's literally in Texas. Hey, you guys want some wave breaker, the rescue coaster merch? <laughs> it does look like the seating arrangement. Coming soon, Arctic Rescue. Hey, buddy. Hi. Aw. They're so cute. It is like absolutely dead here. They do have a couple shows that we're gonna try and see. Right here is uh, Dolphin Adventures, which they're doing at uh, three o'clock, so we got an hour. Do you want to do the impression? Sure. Okay. How do I do that? <laughs> Don't like that. So, dude, yeah. Yo. What's this sign? So this pretty much debunks the whole comfort collar thing. It straight up tells you. Lab restraint is for keeping you in the seat. Comfort collar is for your comfort only. There you go, there you have it kids. We don't need them. They're not even comfortable. Enjoy your ride, Sarah and Tyler. Wait, what about Taylor? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny, I think you meant Taylor, but yeah. your name is Taylor. I'll take it, I'll take it. <laughs> Whoa. Twister again. <laughs> Two rides that do the same thing. <laughs> the stupid comfort collars like yeah. whack your neck. Those are fun rides though. I, I, I really like those. They're fun. I mean, they still get good like air time and, and oh, tank time over there. Yay! Oh, Take off the comfort collars. Well, this plaza is a lot different now. We got Emperor B&M Dive Coaster on this side and Journey to Atlantis on this side. I think we're gonna hit Journey first, get out of the way, and then dry off on Emperor. Journey to Atlantis is a five minute wait, which has pretty much been the same wait times we've had for everything. Crowd levels. For title twister. I know, except for Tile Twister. All right, we're gonna do the uh, front row now of Journey to Atlantis because we hate ourselves. Yeah. 
<laughs> You've got it a little better back there. Second row, I'm gonna be so dry, it's great. Okay. <laughs> We're basically sure. acting as human shields. Okay, but the view of the electric eel is pretty dope. Yeah, that's a great view. All right, you ready for really generic questions? What uh -huh. are you most looking forward to on this ride? Uh, getting off, I think. <laughs> what? Extremely. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, the first drop is what? like right at the beginning? Ah! I thought the big drop was like the, the grand it's, this is finale. This the same way at SeaWorld Orlando though. Yeah, I that guess journey. that's yeah, true. Yeah, much like the other journey to Atlantis, that one, you get the most wet at the end. It's the small ones that get you. What, the elevator lift? Wait, what? What? Yeah. Okay. Hey, actually. Oh, okay. Oh Pretty dive coaster. I don't even oh, care right now. My feet are so wet. My feet are so I wet. I watched that happen in like slow motion and I was like, oh, that's gonna suck. Hey, have it, folks. Journey to Atlantis. Journey to heading back to the car to get a new pair of socks. Sandy's gonna give you a nice wave behind you with her tail. She doesn't have hands. And I'm gonna step over here for no reason. <laughs> Up next, it's their new for 2022 attraction, Emperor. It's the B&M Dive Coaster. It's the only new Seas attraction that we haven't done yet. So, oh, yeah. yeah we that got... is the last of the bunch. Exactly. Everyone's like, when are you guys going to go ride Emperor? Like, you forgot about Emperor. Yes, we did forget about Emperor. But here we are. Here's our plaza for Emperor. Again, five minute wait. Yep. It's a uh, pretty minimalist. This is also the ride that famously does not have a station. But How are you gonna theme a ride to like the best animal on the planet and not even give it a theme? This doesn't have a dog theme. It's got a penguin. We do have some signs about penguins. Max speed 60 miles per hour. That kid just got in front of us. That's all right. And look at this. Oh man, that sun is really beaten down. Hope we have some shade. Actually, they do have shade, they but there's a hole in it. Things. There's a hole in the shade. All right, we just got off Emperor like ride number four. Finally, we've done it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. Multiple, it multiple seats, uh, back, front, all over. I really feel like we got a good feel for this attraction. And my consensus is that I, I think it's actually pretty good. I, <laughs> like, think it's real, I actually think I like it better than other dive coasters because the dive gimmick isn't what does it for me. Yeah, and it's the this, full package. Yeah, and this doesn't like rely on it really because yeah. there's like the dive at the beginning and then there's no mid course, there's no anything. It's just a bunch of like they, intense elements. Everything is fluid going from multiple elements. Like more so than other dive coasters, we hit the break run. I'm like, you know, like like it's Your relentless breath. and the pacing is excellent. My, the only thing is I am shocked they didn't go with a splashdown on this ride. Of all of the themes, See, penguins literally dive into the water like 
<laughs> Money. <laughs> which is, which SeaWorld does not have. <laughs> or they do no, when they don't spend it. Tyler, what do you think? <laughs> oh, it, it was really good. Um, I don't know if I like it more than like Griffin or Shaker because I think those two rides are just like like excellent. I love those two. I probably like it more than Valraven. Um, yeah. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. But that's a really good fit for this park for it one. It definitely and just, is. And it's very different from the other dive coasters in America. Like yeah. North America for that. Yeah. I was saying. I think it feels more like one of the ones in Europe. Yeah. But um, no make course is a very that big, is a big thing. That is a that. plus. And also their operations are great. I mean, it's yes. dead here, but like they've been putting those trains yeah, through like for the really whole well park too. Though, like the whole park has been doing great for that. Yes, wow. operations here are excellent. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, overall, Emperor gets an approval in my book for sure. And here we are at the future entrance to Arctic Rescue. This is where Wild Arctic was. Here on the other side of Emperor, they have gutted this building, and that's gonna be the queue for the ride. Who cares? There's penguins behind you. Oh, Where's that's true. That's true, yo. Let's go see them. <laughs> Woo! God, I love you. Hello! Look I at them! I wonder if they know, like, if they can feel my love emanating. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's what they're, can you they're doing. It? Can you feel it, dude? Can you feel Sarah's love just radiating? Look at these eels. Hello! They look like big giant rocks, but they're not. They are, they're very much alive and they're scary looking. They are nightmares. These guys are so scary looking, but they're kind of my favorite because they also look really appetizing. Can we have crab for dinner? appetizing? Oh my god. I love crab, it's so good. After a very, very long day, we're hanging out in the big chair now. Are you, are you dead? Mm. Oh, he yeah. lives, but this is kind of a cool view. Although, it's upside down. Overall, that was a really good day. It was I awesome to get back. I'm glad that you guys got to experience yeah, this place. Um, like no one here too. I mean, it doesn't get it was better deserted. Than that. Yeah, we were able typical? to do. Um, I think this is the off season yeah. Yeah. overall. So I mean, think about it. Most parks around this time of year are only open on the weekends. But out here in SoCal, they're open on the weekdays. So yeah, it's it's empty. Um, yeah. But I I know that this park can get busy. But we happen to not go during one of those days, so I'm okay with it. Uh, yeah, they, they got some great rides here. I think this park is stunning. I think it is it so is. pretty. Yeah, I um, my, I don't know if this is a hot take or not, but I've been saying all day. I like this place more than Orlando. Okay. Um, I think the rides are definitely better Orlando. Like, it's yeah. not even close. But Manta's really good. Um, yeah. I like the Skyrocket, too, so Electric Eel's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Um, Journey to Atlantis is a good water ride. I just don't like getting wet. And, um, <laughs> and Emperor is awesome. That's a great Emperor's addition. great. Uh, Emperor is really, really good. That was Way better than I was expecting. I would take Emperor over Manta and Kraken at SeaWorld Orlando. Like if I, could swap I think I would. I think I would too. Probably. Yeah. I think this park is great. I think it's super underrated. Uh, I'm sure. I really like everything that they do here, and they're continuing to expand. New roller coaster coming next year. They probably aren't slowing down after that because if we've learned anything from how SeaWorld Entertainment is going the past couple of years, they are just like investment, investment, new stuff all. every year. So I mean, I'm, it's not a terrible drive from if you're going to LA and doing all the other yeah, LA it's parks. It's really not bad. I recommend it for yeah, sure. Yeah, it's not bad. It's, if you're coming to do out. Magic Mountain Knots, come down and do Might as well come down here, yeah. Absolutely. So I'm excited to see what this park has more in the future. I know I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll, I'll be, be back. back. <laughs> Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios and we'll see you next time. Wait, wait, we'll see you next time. Uh, Get it? SeaWorld. <laughs>